I think uh, a few people have been missing Zeus. Here he is. He's um, doing pretty good for an old dog. And we're going to go do a horsey check. Yes, we are. We're going to do a horsey check. Okay, let's do this. We're just sitting around having coffee, him and I. And uh, I'm just about done. So it's time for us to go. <laughs> we're doing. Um, gosh, there's so much to address. All right, let's do this. Come on, let's go. I know. Okay, so horsey check is vital to do. If you're new here, my name is Graham, that's Zeus. <laughs> I run this place, stable horse training. And um, horsey check is uh, multiple times of the day for me. Uh, I actually remember one of my clients telling me, she goes, I've never seen anybody check on their horses so often. And I said, that's weird. This just feels very normal to me and common. But anyways, the morning horse check, everybody does, I'm sure. Sometimes at nighttime, but I'm out here all the time. So we're checking to see, you know, how much they're pooping, whether or not they give a crap when we come out to say hello. This one does. Uh, let's talk about her in a second. This is Maya. She uh, She's here for a little bit of training. She's uh, becoming very, very snuggly. Uh, very interested in be being friends. She is a uh, seven-year-old, I think, BC Wildy from the Yukon area, from my understanding, which isn't quite BC, but um, since then. So let's talk about this little one here. Uh, I've got her on two-inch hay bags for the last little while. She's been doing fantastic. She picked it up real quick. I put in a one-and-a-half-inch hay bag over there, large one, and leave that. She can nibble at that and pick away at it. I mean, oh, hello. And um, and that's a really good thing. Uh, but mostly she burns through the two inch bags right now. And uh, we've become very, very good friends. And I wanna talk about this a little bit um, because it's very, very important. She is a totally unhandled, uh, true BC Wildie. She's from, from British Columbia here in Canada and um, came from the east middle middle to east end of british columbia and uh she's just a baby 11 months so she's got lots of learning to do and um but anyways i'm going to talk more about her but we're oh don't do that uh she's been picking up things i've been putting down real fast it hasn't taken too long to uh, to teach her, which is just fantastic. As you can see, she's more than happy to be touched. And I've actually touched pretty much her whole body at this point because I had to do a um, a body check for uh, ticks. Actually, so that's solved. <clears throat> Although the vet is going to come out next week as soon as I get her um, haltered, which will hopefully happen today. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Maya knows exactly where I'm going. We're going over to Lena next, but yes, we can say hello to you again. Do you want to say hi one more time? I know. Maya's just absolutely fantastic. All kinds of things are working out well for her. And uh, as we've talked about in the past, her feet are doing really well. She's got that one crack that's there from a while ago, but it's, it's just on the outside. So I'm not too worried. Here comes the butt. <laughs> Everybody, right? And the queen of needing the butt scratches, Lena. She is uh, my 15 year old. I think she's 15 now. Oldenburg Draft. She's an absolute treat to ride and be with. And uh, as you can see, her massive white butt is uh, always ready for the Good scratches. So we've got uh, actually yeah, as a bonus today, lucky today, um, I have a volunteer coming out to 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 brush do brushings, get these guys all sorted out because I tend not to have as much time as many of you guys wish I had to brush and clean my horses because I don't really get too concerned about it. This is Mr. Wild. He is a coming five-year-old BC Wildy as well. As you can tell, I'm collecting these guys. Hey, big guy. He is actually mine. Lena is mine. The little one up top is mine. Maya is not. 
and uh, he's fantastic. He's a good little boy. Um, picking up all the kinds of stuff that I'm putting down and is a fantastic playmate for everybody that is here. Except for Gracie, maybe. I don't think he really plays with her. Let's go say hi to Gracie. Um, she is absolutely a barn favorite around here due to her personality. Everybody really likes the way she goes about things. Acts and she's sassy and stuff like that, which is fun. She's fun. Here she comes. Hello, Gracie. How you doing? How are you today? What'd you do that for? Um, she's always looking for a good ear scratchings lately. I don't know why. I might have the vet double check and make sure there's no mites or something in there. I don't know how I would tell. All right, shake. Great job. Uh, I do get a few comments. So she's in Arabian and I think she's turning eight. Yeah. Uh, so I get a few comments about this tree. Uh, this used to actually be two trees. If we look here, it's a little history about the place. If you look here, I've cut one off. But there used to be two trees here. It's a big cedar. It's a cedar tree. And from the and it used to go way longer. I think I did a little, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find the video for it, but anyways, I did a thing a while ago about it. And so the pieces here actually are holding up this end because I wanted it as a fence, but the the root structure was so cool to me that I just could not get rid of it. This thing that fell over and the moss grows on it and just feels like, you know, something could be living in here, like a little, a little thing, a being, you know? Not that I'm so much of that type, but I like the idea of it. So anyways, this became part of the, the landscape kind of idea structure. And I think it worked out really well. So this is Yoka. Yoka is an Icelandic and uh, she is here for boarding. And here is another little wildie. She is here for training as well. So I've nicknamed her Little Miss. And these two are living together right now and doing absolutely fantastic. I've got a cute little video to show you. Look, look at how darn adorable these two are. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't think I could have picked two better friends. Look at them just having a little sleep in the shelter. Just happened to come across this, across this this morning. Isn't that cute? Let's go say hi. Hello, <laughs> little Yoka. Are you sleeping next to your best friend? Oh, okay, a quick, just a quick, just a quick one. I know. Come here. Good girl. It's okay. You can have a sleep. I won't bug you too much. And you, you cutie pie. Let's come around the front like so. I know. It's all right. Hello, little one. Oh, let's get. Let's get your eye boogies out. Fix your hair a smidge. And that one. Oh, you guys are the cute. Well, there you go. See, everybody was wondering how these two would do. And uh, they're doing absolutely fantastic. I don't even know what to do with myself. I feel like I just want to hang out here. Isn't that great? I don't think I've ever seen two horses lie down in a shelter, but I've never had two little horses like this before, where they might actually do that. <laughs> well, maybe that's a, just a nice little treat for you guys today to see. Um, break up your day a bit. <laughs> you two are the best. These are just the best little horses. I can't believe it. I'm in awe. Happy awe. All right, well, let's, let's let them sleep. Let them sleep. <laughs> just quiet little eyes. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you guys a little later. So that was adorable. They, uh, they are getting along just great. Lots of food left. 
Which brings me to another quick thing to say that all of our horses here, they live on 24 seven hay essentially. Um, and uh, have hay bags so that they always have food in their tummy because that's the way the horse's digestion system works. And this is Luke. Luke is my boy. I've had him since the age of two or three or so. And uh, he is, yeah, he's amazing. I love this guy. And oh, he's a little tall today. He must be standing, I'm a little lower. So um, he is uh, oh, just fantastic. He is my go-to horse for so many things. Um, and he's the most gentlest, he's the snuggliest. And uh, he's always been this kind of like, he's always got a little bit of this pretty look about him. He's very, this from the curly hair up top here and to just his face being a little bit more narrow than many of the boys. Mr. Wild's got a much wider face. Oh, Swedish season is going to be starting up soon. Bugs, got to be cautious of that stuff. I'm covered in hair. And this is Roni, the last horse of nine horses here currently. He is a quarter horse and he is, I think, the same age as Luke, nine. Yeah. Uh, absolutely fantastic. He is telepathic. So when I communicate things to him, he knows exactly what to do. Riding him is pure joy outside of when he gets really worried, like most horses that spook or something, that things. And he's, he's kind of jittery here and there. But uh, when things are quiet, man, he is tip top. Hello, Luke. What's up, buddy? <laughs> what are you doing? I got you now, sucker. Okay, see you later. So, those are the horses here. I know I get a lot of requests. We've got a lot of new people here. Welcome to everybody who is new. And so that is everybody, <laughs> once again. Uh, with this horsey check that I'm bringing along on this gorgeous day. We've got some, oh, there's an airplane, got some beautiful skies today. And sun's just coming up. So, we got to get on with stuff. I'm going to see what I can get done today. Of course, video a plenty, but I don't have as much time as I wish I had to sort of put things together, edit it up. But it's all there. I'll be able to release it sooner or later. And um, you guys will be able to enjoy it. Spring is coming. Everything is budding. Somebody mentioned that the willow tree is looking a little better. It is. It's really growing in. Oh, Gracie, how pretty are you? All lit up from the side with the sun. You should look a little friendlier, though. <laughs> she says, just hurry up and scratch my ears. I'll be back and volunteer is going to be. So it's fantastic having a volunteer come out to help out with these kinds of things because I have about two million things to do, which is good. I actually really like it. I think um, Somebody, it's, there's some quote out there about having a farm, don't you feel isolated or something like that. It's like, no, man, like this, this kind of, you know, routine in some senses, the variability of the routine in some senses, it's all very grounding. It almost feels very, very good, very peaceful. You still here? What's up? You've got lots of hay left. Okay, well, we're going to do some work with you today, so that'll be fun. Uh, Lena's going to be getting some exercise with me, which is another story in and of itself. And of course, we've got to get on with haltering this little girl because we need the bed out lickety split to do the double check after my check, my examination and uh, shots and all that kind of business. So that's it for now. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one. I might tack on something onto the end of this video. We'll see. But we've got another horsey that just loves a solid butt scratching, as everybody has seen so far in that little short that I put up. She's keen. She's learnt and learning. So it's exciting stuff. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Still coming. <laughs>